show you how to use Visual Basic Express Edition 2008 to make a UPS tracking program. This will allow you to track programs without having to open your web browser. First you're going to open Visual Basic 2008 and go to File, New Project. You're going to want to open a Windows Forms application. In the toolbox, you're going to want to add a web browser to your project and select this little arrow and undock out of parent. Might make your project bigger. You're going to want to add a text box where you'll put your tracking number and a go button or a button. Make sure you add two buttons. We'll label this one go and we'll make it skinnier because it don't need to be that wide. And then we'll add another button and name it unhide. Put that in the bottom right corner. Then go back to your, select your web browser and click the little arrow again and then hit dock and parent. Once you've done that, just double click the go button. It should take you into the form1.vb. Under the button one underscore click, sorry my computer's really being stupid now. Under button one underscore click, type in web web browser one dot navigate. And then in the um brackets, you're going to want to add this HTML right here. This is where um, UPS tracking numbers get tracked. Add it in quotes, and then hit and, and then type in text, box, one, dot, text, That just tells it it's going to look at this URL and then at the end of the URL, which would say tracking number equals, and then it's going to look in the text box text to send it to that URL. And then you're going to type in text box one dot visible. equals false and then button dot button one dot visible equals false. What it's gonna do is it's just gonna hide this and this once it opens the uh, it's gonna hide the text box and the go button once it starts looking for your package. Now you're going to want to go to and double click text box, the text box. Now type in if text box one dot text equals one z equals quote one z end quote then button one dot enabled equals true. What this is going to do is make sure that you're typing in the one Z that's right before every tracking number for UPS. 
and then it's going to turn the go button from disabled to an en enabled. Go back to your designer, click the go button, and disable it. In other words, under enable, select false. Now double click the unhide button. You're going to want to type if text box one dot visible equals false then text box one dot visible equals true else text box one dot visible equals my bad doesn't go next to else it's else if by the way else if text box one equals true then text box one dot visible equals false. What this is going to do is it sees if the text box one dot visible equals false. It sees if it's visible. If it's not visible, then it makes it visible. If it's visible, it makes it not visible. What it does is it shows and hides the text box and the go button. You're going to also want to put button one dot visible equals true and then under here you're going to want to put button one dot visible equals false it's just that you don't want to have the uh, text box showing and the go button showing while you're trying to see if your package is being tracked in other words, this and this will disappear once this starts being in use. Now you can debug your package or your setup. And I'll show you what I mean by it. Sorry, my computer's very slow. Now you type in, notice that the button is disabled, which means if you type anything random in, it won't work. Once you type in 1Z, it'll enable the go button. And I'm just going to type in other random stuff to show you how it works. Once you hit go. It hides that and it pops up with the tracking page for ups.com. Since I typed in random stuff in the tracking box, it'll show tracking number doesn't exist. So then you can physically unhide it with the unhide button. Change it to something that does exist. and hit go. It hides it again, searches again, and show you that the package exists. Well there you go. An easy way to make a UPS tracking device without having to download anything, open your web browser, and so forth. Enjoy!